All right, I'm going to be checking this one's catheter. I've already watched the instructional video. So I'm gonna remove the bandage and um, we wanna make sure that we flush the catheter every three to four hours to ensure that it's still in, which it is. It's flowing well and I can actually feel it in the vein. Um, I'm also going to be looking for any type of inflammation or phlebitis or um, if we have some type of um, unknown fever, then we want to replace the catheter. This one has just put, was put in this morning, so we don't need to replace it. Um, everything looks good. It's not soiled or wet. Um, it's flowing well. doesn't seem that it's too tight. So I think we're good on this one for right now. All right, so this is Roscoe. Um, he, we actually found out that this catheter um, is blown. It's not flowing properly. We placed another catheter, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove this other one. Um, some things that I wanna mention is that we, um, we always flush the catheters um, every four hours to be sure that they um, don't occlude. And um, also, whenever they are on um, fluids, we want to make sure that we change the entire um, IV administration set at least every four days. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this catheter. I got some bandage scissors right here. And when I remove this catheter, I'm going to use a little piece of gauze to. Um, Hold pressure on the site, and then we normally add a little piece of vet wrap just as a little pressure wrap um, for a few minutes to ensure that it is um, completely occluded and it's not going to bleed out. And that was removing an IV catheter.